Uh, globalization is changing the nature of law and the character of legal practice. Um, there is a multiplication of the applicable legal sources that lawyers have to deal with in their cases. Uh, many of these legal sources are increasingly of an international character. Um, the disputes in which lawyers are involved are increasingly also of a transnational uh, nature. And at the same time, uh, law is being called to play a role in its economic, political and social context that is different from that that he used to, to play. This requires uh, lawyers to adapt to this new context in which they have to practice with a plurality of legal sources and in which law is playing different social functions. The changing nature of law and of the character of the practice of law requires us um, to teach law in a different way. Um, not only in, through the ways that we have seen so far law schools answer to this challenge, that is basically by introducing in their curriculum more international law subjects and in Europe particularly more European Union law subjects. In reality what we need is two things. The first is basically to reconstruct our understanding of the traditional subject matters of law, such as contracts, administrative law, in a way that incorporates into those subjects this new transnational uh, dimension of, of law and this multiplication of the legal sources. And the second thing we need is to teach and understand law better in its social, political and economic context. For this we need more interdisciplinary tools in the, uh, the, to be used in the teaching, or in the teaching or of law. Law schools in Europe are already witnessing the consequences of, this, uh, of the impact of globalization on legal education and law in general. They are witnessing that by the increased mobility of students in Europe. Yet, to a large extent, their degrees, uh, their curriculum, their way of teaching law has remained the same. There are, however, a few cases uh, where law schools are increasingly aware and increasingly presenting and offering to students a different way of teaching uh, law. One case is the Catholic Global School that has cle clearly embraced not only a deeper internationalization of its program and legal education, but has in fact fully uh, uh, um, taken into consideration this new nature of law and restructure the degrees that it offers. It offers not only degrees that have an, a, a strong international component, but degrees that are actually teach law in general in a total different way by taking into account the impact of globalization on that transnationalization of legal disputes and multiplication of legal, of legal sources that I mentioned before.